Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Divan and welcome to Scardia.com. Topic of the lecture today is intestinal nematodal infections. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what kind of nematodes harbor our intestine and lead to different pathologies. First of all, we're going to talk about what those intestinal nematodes are and what are they called. Next on, we're going to talk about the different modalities of nematodes, which will include ascariasis, enterobiasis, trichuriasis, hookworm infections, and strongylidiasis. We're going to talk about all of them and why they are called so. Next on, we're going to talk about in detail about ascaris lumbricoids, which are also called roundworms. We're going to talk about what is the life cycle of ascaris lumbricoids. How does we how do we differentiate between male and female ascaris lumbricoid? How ascaris lumbricoid get entry into our intestine and from there they go into our respiratory system, involve the respiratory system, and from there they go back into our intestine. Why is this cycle happening again and again? They can just stay in the intestine, but they go through all this trouble. Why? Next on, we're going to talk about the treatment of it. Before the treatment, we'll go for the different modalities, different treatment modalities, which will include different drugs, but depending upon if it's severe in nature, if intestinal obstruction is happening because of a scarce number required, you'll go for the uh, surgical intervention of this pathology. Next one, if the patient is mild or moderate in severity of this pathology, you give these three drugs and next one, some preventive methods. Next on, we'll talk about if the patient developed intestinal obstruction, what are the treatment modalities and options for that patient uh, with intestinal obstruction to be given. Next on, we're going to talk about hookworm, why it's called hookworm, why its shape is like a hook. And next on, we're going to talk about its life cycle. What's the life cycle of hookworm? How does it penetrate our skin? How does it hatch into filariform larva? And from there, how does it go into our bloodstream, into our lungs, into our trachea, into our pharynx, and into our uh, stomach? We're going to talk about its life cycle in detail. And next on, we're going to talk about how do we diagnose it? How do we lead to the diagnosis of hookworm infection? And once we have reached the diagnosis of hookworm infection, how do we treat it? The treatment is just like a scarecrow required, but what preventive methods are there? And after the patient is treated, what needs to be done? How do we uh, resupply? How do we resupply the body of the patient, which has been taken out of iron and other protein and uh, nutritional supplements for so long? So that's all that's going to be discussed in this lecture. For watching this complete lecture and the variety of lectures which vary from anatomy, physiology, pathology, pharmacology to medicine and surgery, there are thousands of lectures and there's an option for you for having the trial lectures so that you can get accommodated. So for availing all of this, please subscribe to scardia.com.